What's going on there folks? Good morning. Uh, good afternoon some out there. It's the Earth Master on this Tuesday, June 28, 2022 date. It's about uh, 1027 a.m. California time. Latest quake shows some movement with a 1.1 earthquake into the California region. Uh, I'm just going to do a real quick update because I am headed up to Mount Shasta shortly to uh, kind of check out and see what's going on with the ongoing smoke, blowing dust, whatever it is up there on the north flank of Mount Shasta. So I'm going to go up there, investigate, and I will be reporting live while I'm up there. So anyway, let's do a quick update. So uh, did have some activity ramping up here around the Clear Lake area today, uh, right around the Cobb Mountain region. I know Calpine, uh, these hydrothermal folks that create this energy out here don't want to see four pointers, but man, did we have one this morning. Uh, 4.2 at a pretty shallow depth there at a 0.5 kilometers. That's a, a pretty good shaker for this area. Not too often do we see four pointers in the mix of the uh, earthquake activity that uh, is produced during this operation. But it looks like it was felt through the uh, parts of the North Bay area, Santa Rosa, Vacaville, Fairfield, Concord, even a report down in the Berkeley area. So uh, yeah, that's kind of a, not a good thing for these folks. I know they, uh, there was a, a pretty big lawsuit here quite a few years ago when they were getting fours and fives even uh, that did some damage to homes. So a little bit on the uh, larger side there for those folks. The rest of the earthquakes are below the 2.5 threshold. If you look at that, uh, there's only one large quake. But that's all it takes to do some damage, right? This one occurred, let's see if this is right around any power plants down there. There's numerous ones as well. Um, looks like there's one right over here, but remember there's little operations where they inject the sewer and there's pipes running all over the place here in this region. Uh, but it does look like it's within the vicinity of one of their operations, uh, there at the hydrothermal field in the Cobb mountain region, south of Clear Lake, uh, producing energy, but also at the same time producing some earthquakes. Not a good thing there. Don't want to get too big on the magnitudes, right? Uh, Northern California, aside from that, pretty quiet. Southern Cal, a little shaky activity, it looks like. Um, up through the Intermountain West regions into Wyoming and Montana, some movement. Oklahoma is definitely kicking up today as well. Uh, I'm sure a lot of this activity is spread out across some of the oil fields uh, that are out there amongst the land. And uh, let's see, what do we got for some further activity? It looks like Puerto Rico had a little swarming going on around the Puerto Rico Trench here couple smaller earthquakes a 3.4 and a 3.7 very close to the Puerto Rico trench uh, activity in South America and also really ramping up here in a line fashion right down through the Japan trench into the north uh, into the uh, Mariana Islands area uh, with a bunch of fours kicking up here so gotta watch that area pretty closely they get some pretty big quakes New Zealand did see an earthquake uh, looks like that was uh when did that strike last night at 4.6 uh it has been pretty active seen quite a few threes up here throughout the um new zealand area taiwan still kind of swarming not a whole lot of push to the west here from this area so uh i think until we see that we're going to see start seeing some back building here kind of like what we're seeing right now and also on the west coast here where it's lighting up a little bit alaska as well um, let's check out the, I want to show you guys the real quick, the Mount Chasta, um, webcam up there again, and it's still showing stuff, still blowing smoke, or blowing ash or a steam vent. I don't know if this was steam. Um, it's not, well, it's not very cold up there. It doesn't look like steam. Steam would evaporate ev uh, eventually. This looks like d dust or ash, something, uh, being blown, but at times looks like it's blowing up out of the ground. So I'm going to go up there here it's very shortly, but I wanted to show you guys a little uh, overview here of the activity over the last, we can go last three hours today and uh, pull that up. You can see there's still quite a bit. There, it looks like there's some activity over here as well. Um, further to the, in this case, it'd be the west. But I want to get down there and see what's, I want to get up here and see what's going on. Uh, see if I can get a better view. I know there's cameras and stuff here, but I want to kind of get within that region. Let's see, where is, um, let's see, here's this one. 
This one's kind of uh, a little bit further away. And these other cameras are kind of pointing away from it. Uh, the other, well, we got one right there that's kind of pointing directly to it. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick here. Stand by for just a second here, folks. I was looking through this last night. There's so many cameras. Um, and surprisingly, a couple of them were all being pointed directly at the uh, Mount Shasta area. There's Lake Shastina. But I am going to go up there and see what's going on. See if I can't get a little better view. Yeah, there's just so many of them. Um, stand by for a second here. Let's put this into action. See what we got last three hours or so ago. So you definitely still seen some some activity here and also back around here so it's hard to tell exactly what it is for certain 100% certainty so I'm gonna go up there and uh, I'm also gonna talk to uh, see if I can find some park rangers around there and maybe ask them about it so me and Missy Mimi's will be heading down there uh, very soon so look for that uh, we will be going live so make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get uh, notified when we do go live just a heads up so we'll see you guys here shortly um if like i say earthquake activity it is somewhat active out here for sure uh but i don't have a lot of time to spend on it so i will cover that a little bit more detail tonight after we get back from the mount shasta area like i said it's a good two hour two and a half hour drive maybe more uh we'll see how traffic it is and it's supposed to be hot here so uh that sucks but that's all right i'm gonna head up there and we'll see you guys once we go live so take care folks